Modifiers work with Square and Clover to quickly customize your products at the time of sale and adjust inventory accordingly. For example, someone might want almond milk instead of whole milk in a latte, a gift personalized, or to add bacon to a burger. Unlike using modifiers at the POS, when you set up modifiers with Thrive, you associate it with an item, and quantities will be adjusted when the modifier is used to ensure inventory and cost accuracy. To get started, click on the Modifiers tab from the Products page. For example, these burger topping modifiers allow customers to add bacon, avocado, and other toppings to their burger. Each modifier has its own price and can be linked to your actual inventory so your stock counts stay accurate. Let's go through an example and create modifiers for a latte. Click Create Modifier Group to enter a new group and all of the options that belong to it. Extra shot, vanilla syrup, mocha, alternative milks, and so on. For options that cost extra, you can assign that price here. You now have the option to connect your modifiers to variants. This is useful if you want inventory to be adjusted whenever a modifier is sold. For example, here we'll associate the vanilla syrup modifier with the appropriate deduction from the syrup bottle. The syrup comes in a 750 ml container, so if I use two pumps, that would deduct 0.02 of the syrup container. Note that syrup must already be a product in inventory. In the case of substitutions, you can also enter a value to be restocked when a modifier is used. For example, the latte product is a bundle, consisting of espresso and whole milk. When a customer chooses a substitution milk choice, I will both have the almond milk deducted for the drink and have the whole milk restocked into inventory as if it was never used. Entering a value to be restocked can also be done in the case of excluding a bundle component, such as no cheese on a sandwich. Thrive will adjust the stock count by the entered amount and also factor in the cost to calculate the new profit margin for the latte. Now I'm going to set a minimum and maximum number of modifiers from this group that can be selected at the time of sale. A customer can order a latte with no modifiers or several, so I will leave these blank. Keep in mind that these thresholds only sync with Clover. The next page is where I pick the products I want to prompt for this modifier group. I have a latte here for example, but if you have many drinks that can get the same modifiers, assign them here. Last step, I'll select all the stores in which I want this modifier group. The new modifiers are now listed in the Modifiers tab, and I can go back and edit at any time. And that's it! Now you're ready to sell using modifiers. The sale of a product using modifiers will show up on your sales report with the inclusion of the modifier price and cost in the overall sales and cost of goods sold, giving you even more accurate profit reporting. Modifiers are great for food, but are also used for professional services, mix and match retail, buy one get one, and anything that can be customized. For more information, tutorials, and step-by-step -step guides, visit the help documents linked below. If you need additional assistance, please contact our customer care team using the chat bubble in the bottom right corner of our website.